Let's round the intro. Well, I am the love I'm looking for. Wasting time and foreign shore. Bringing back the spoils so of war. For nothing. For nothing. Howdy folks, welcome to the channel, my name is Danny and I'm a musician from Sweden. I'm the singer of Swedish band Neskobar and if you're interested in hearing what we sound like you can go to our YouTube channel where we have more than 100 tracks released. It's Escobar with a K. On this channel I react to music, comedy and other stuff but most of all I react to what you suggest to me in the comment section so please if you have any ideas for me put them right down there and if you like this video please hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Bling! So you know when I release new videos, it should be every day. Today I'm back with the great Angelina Jordan. And uh, people have recommended that I check out Mount Everest. Uh, it is a cover, I, as I understand it. I have not heard the original. Uh, so yes, this will be my first encounter with the song. And obviously her version as well. So it says this is uh, from Live at Kongsberg. Uh, July 7th. Uh, 2022. So yeah, let's just have a listen to Mount Everest and Angelina Jordan. Here we go. Mount Everest ain't got it on me. Mount Everest ain't got it on me. Cause I'm on top of the world. I'm on top of the world. Yeah. Or to buy if you ain't got Touch the sky when you ain't got it on me Cause I'm on top of the world I'm on top of the world Yeah Be Beautiful I love that I'm on top of the world I'm on top of the world Very beautiful I'm on top of the world Nice, I'm getting chills. Music and instruments sound a little bit messy there. Again, I don't know the original, so maybe they're sort of copying the original and that's the way it's supposed to sound, but the instruments sound a little messy under there for a while. It's like, you know, what's happening? <laughs> it's like everybody's doing their own thing. Yes, I know it's they're jazz musicians, probably, uh, obviously, or yeah, I think they are. Um, so maybe they're just like jamming out or something, but uh, yeah, it just sounded a little strange there for a while. But Angelina's uh, vocals sound fantastic, obviously. So, yeah, let's continue listening. It on me. You touch the sky when you ain't got it on me. Cause I'm on top of the world. I'm on top of the world. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, every time she hits that note, it's just fantastic. Like, on mm, top of the world, I'm on top of the world. That vibrato just sounds fantastic. Top of the world, I'm on top of the world, yeah. Yeah, you, you see it here, you know, she looks around a little bit and the... Uh, it feels like this wasn't very rehearsed. Uh, I mean, and obviously she's using the... Uh, uh, lyric stand here and sort of reading off some of the lyrics and uh, I'm sure it would be uh, yeah it could actually actually probably be much better 
a version. Um, if it was uh, really rehearsed and everything was just like super between the instruments and everything as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, her voice is fantastic. I mean, it's obviously fantastic, but I mean, it, it sounded great in this. I really like the way I think she could do this song. Uh, yes, yeah, so I said even better. I think she could really, really rush this. And I mean, she does vocally, you know, uh, with what she has. But uh, as I said, you probably get what I'm what I mean by you know, if it was rehearsed, like to a T, and then they got some, you know, all the, some more like dynamics in it when like really really small and then sort of exploded up on the courses and stuff so yeah uh, and as i said i don't know what the original sounds like um but yeah sort of the poppy jazzy uh, kind of uh world uh for angie seems to be sonically a really really good thing uh, career wise i don't know you know um I, we've talked about it in the comments before, and um, and yeah, uh, the young audience seem to be like in K-pop, which is yeah, very little talent vocally, uh, a lot of dancing colors, and uh, yeah, quite shallow. Um, you know, I mean, it is what it is. You know, that's what that young audience likes. Uh, if they would start liking this type of stuff, uh, I would be very happy. Uh, but, um, yeah, doesn't really matter. Uh, this was really, really nice. Really, really nice. And yeah, I want to hear more from her, obviously, uh, on the live stage. And yeah, but she's just crushing it and killing it. And yes, I want to say also, when she was at the, uh, All Song på Gränsen, um... I heard two tracks. One sounded really good and the other one didn't sound so good. I think it was I Have Nothing that was a little off. And it was off pitch wise. But it's nice to hear her sing um, uh, live here again and again. And it's just uh, so spot on, you know, when it comes to pitch. Yes, of course, every singer's going to have a note here and there. But uh, yeah, this, I didn't hear anything off here at all. So yeah, it's just nice to hear. Uh, really have a great grip on the pitch and uh, I think it sort of proves my suspicion again that the sound was just off for that uh, I have nothing uh, performance because that goes for everybody if you can't hear yourself then you don't hear you know where you are compared to the instruments and then you know you could be anywhere <laughs> anywhere in the pitch so yeah Anyway, since you like good music, definitely check out my new single. It's right there. And until next time, goodbye. Well, I am the love I'm looking for. Wasting time and foreign shore.